Why do Japanese love cherry blossoms? When speaking of the spring in Japan, you cannot help but speak about cherry blossoms, also known as sakura in Japanese. Once a year, from the end of March to the beginning of April, Japan is gripped by sakura fever. Sakura is so important to Japanese people. Friends, families, co-workers, and couples enjoy parties and picnics beneath a ceiling of flowers. This style of flower viewing, called hanami, is unique to Japan. Hanami is Japanese spring tradition that has been practiced for centuries. I also love sakura very much, and every year I look forward to enjoying its beauty. But to be honest, I don't like today's hanami style. Famous hanami spots are so crowded everywhere with people drinking, singing, and dancing. Are these people really enjoying the beauty of sakura? Or just enjoying drinking a party under the trees? It's really strange that most people seem to be enjoying party itself rather than seeing sakura. But of course, Japanese love sakura itself so deeply. When cherry blossoms are in full bloom, there are no leaves, and only after their falling, leaves come out. This is one of the reasons why cherry blossoms are so splendid. But Japanese people love cherry blossoms not only because they are beautiful, but also because they only bloom for a very short period of about 10 days. So, cherry blossoms are a symbol of life and death, the fleeting of nature of life, the fragility and the beauty of life. The significance of the cherry blossom tree in Japanese culture goes back hundreds of years. Originally, Japan has a tradition of finding beauty in transience, being affected by mujokan, that is the Buddhist concept of the impermanence of the world things. The mujokan is said to be one of the important elements of characteristic of the Japanese concept of beauty that has grown over many years since the medieval era. Actually, one of my favorite parts of the cherry blossoms is not only the blooming, but also the falling cherry blossoms petals. I cannot help loving cherry blossoms because their lives are very short. Tied to the Buddhist themes of mortality, mindfulness, and living in the present, Japanese cherry blossoms are a timeless metaphor for human beings. Blooming season is powerful, glorious, and intoxicating, but tragically short-lived. A visual reminder that our lives too are fleeting. Life is beautiful, but it is also tragically short. When the cherry blossoms bloom for a short time each year in brilliant force, they serve as a visual reminder of how precious and how precarious life is. In this sense, Hanami reminds us that life is short and that we must make the most of it. Today, many take the opportunity to have a picnic or Hanami party with family, friends or colleagues. But it hasn't always been this way and the contemplation of cherry trees has long been perceived as a philosophical activity more than anything else. And even today, when Japanese people come together to view the cherry blossoms and marvel at their beauty, they aren't just thinking about the flowers themselves, but also about the larger meaning and deep cultural tradition of the cherry blossoms. 
I said that I don't like today's Hanami style. But even if they seem to be just enjoying drinking, singing, and dancing, they might be reminding the brilliance, fragility, and the transience of life while enjoying living in the present. <laughs> <laughs> 